Welcome to DHS Informatics. In this video, we are going to cover deep learning based forgery attack on document images. It is an IEEE project which comes under the artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning or image processing, computer vision, all the sub domains it will come. Actually, the technology is improving we are a fully depends upon the digital images so that paperless office paperless uh, verification everything is coming so that whenever the technology is improving the actors also they are improving their knowledge and the technology so that easily in the digital document they can do the forgery using the fo photoshop or paint or some other tool they can able to easily change the digital documents mainly images the face images so that in this project what we are going to cover means the whenever you are giving a face image whether the face image is uh, manipulated or real manipulated means whether they edited with the some other tool like a photoshop paint uh, or some other image processing tool or not that we are going to detect about this uh, full depth we are going to see in this video before entering to this video, you are not subscribed to our channel DHS Informatics, please press the subscribe button below this video and press the bell icon to get our next updates. Thank you. So that as I told you, the digital documents are becoming very popular. We are everybody for when the corona come into the picture also, everything we are uh, using with the digital images only. No need of taking any printout, even uh, flight tickets and train tickets, no need to carry on the printers nowadays. Uh, everything it is on the digital only. When you are going with a digital thing easily, they can able to change the face images. Instead of the one genuine person, they will replace with the terrorist photo. He will enter in his name, like that also it's entering in the countries. So that we want to identify the face image in that uh, document digital document it is a manipulated image or it is a real image like that we want to do these are called the cyber attacks so that how to overcome this thing we are going to overcome this uh, attack using a deep learning model that is called convolution neural network and some pre-processing technique error level analysis with the help of these two techniques we are going to identify whether it is a real or fake There is a generative adversarial network. Nowadays, there is a, with the help of the generative adversarial network GAN and the encoder concept, we can able to create a person who is not exist in this world. There is one website is there. You can go. This man does not exist. You can type it in your Google. You will you will go and you can see one photo of a person. It looks like a real image, a real person only, but he is not uh, exist in this world. Like that. We can able to generate the real human images, faces uh, with the help of the GAN. So that easily they can able to create uh, that type of images and uh, fix on the digital document and they will able to pass the for some processing. It is our duty to identify the face image in the digital documents are original or it is a manipulated. So that it will be for passport or it will be for uh, any uh, land document multiple things when you are go purchasing land also the faces will be there they can able to change the face of the original owner to the some duplicate person you will tell he is claiming this land belongs to me only like that lot of verification things it will come id cards in a big big company big big corporate office uh, or government officials are entering they can able to manipulate uh, so that we want to identify the whether the document is uh, containing the original face image or duplicate face image this technology comes under the deep learning in that forgery attack it will come. Uh, artificial intelligence is the super set. Under the artificial intelligence only machine learning is coming. Under machine learning only neural network coming. Under the neural network only deep learning will come. So that neural network, multiple neural network you can join, we can able to create a deep learning. Artificial intelligence you can able to call it as an, it is an uh, science and uh, machine learning we can call it as a biology deep learning we can call it as a botany 
so that all the science projects is not the biology project but uh, we can call all the biology projects are science project like that all the artificial intelligence projects are not machine learning project but uh, all the machine learning projects are artificial intelligence projects similarly all the machine learning projects are not deep learning project but all the deep learning projects are machine learning internally it is an artificial intelligence project so that in the using the artificial intelligence that means deep learning in this project convolution neural network and error level analysis uh, we are going to identify the forgery attack document forgery attack on images here the technology we used uh, python deep learning deep learning means uh, python means we have to use numpy pandas deep learning means uh, we have to use tensorflow keras and sklearn we are using to splitting the data and uh, for uh, multiple purposes for accuracy metrics uh, everything you are using we are using a convolution neural network with the error level analysis that is only ELA we are using the existing thing the existing thing what is the method they are using in the existing thing is a suppose if it is a the fake image is very poor quality only it will identify nowadays technologies are improved we can't able to identify with our human eyes only whether it is edited or not like that very professionally they make that the forgery it will not able to understand the old existing technique because those are artificial intelligence or machine learning they will not able to direct that the very uh, good tampering thing it will not detect but whereas in our system we are going to detect the proposed system i told you know we error level analysis it is called uh, ela we are using this ela process uh, first to, to analyze the picture then only convolution neural network will come i'll show you the some example to you that is this is called a real uh, ela when you are giving a you can see that the zebra is standing here it's a real image for this real image you are taking the error level analysis you will get the image like that you see the zebra pictures will be more dots will be there actually this is a fake image this zebra i cut it and paste it in a fake image here so that here also dots will come there is a, some minute variation will be there my system can able to identify whether this zebra is a fake or not that is called error level analysis you can see this thing this is a fake document it is a real document here some image is there I replace with some button and some logo they can able to hide like that they can able to make the fake uh, documents they can able to create even you can able to change the face also we can able to change that also we can able to identify here the system architecture we have to give the our model fake images and real images we have to give that will be undergo with the pre-processing technique with the ELA and uh, it will be convert the data into numerical form that the numerical data will be split into training data and the test data and the training data will go for the cnn model building and it will do error uh, it will do all type of result analysis everything once it is be satisfied you will get the uh, trained model you will get for the trained model we can give the test data and we evaluate the result with the uh, confusion matrix and uh, accur accuracy score error f1 score like that many methods are there we can able to evaluate the result and we can able to judge our model whether it's a good or not i hope it will will give you more than 90 percent accuracy in this project okay models in this project are data collection image acquisition and pre-processing data pre-processing that is already i told you and model construction and uh, that is a data splitting and model construction and the model training we have to do and model testing and evaluation we can do and you want to front end interface also we can able to create with an flask whenever you are giving any document it will say whether it's a real or fake like that we can do these are the algorithms we are using ela and uh, convolution neural network but internally convolution neural network there are many subdivision algorithms are there convolutional layer max pooling layer and fully connected layer uh, and activation function like uh, uh, rectified linear unit and soft max like that we can have the multiple techniques of that this system will be run on any windows operating system windows uh, 8 or 10 we are using python 3 anaconda framework we are using for front end we are using a flask framework and uh, libraries we are using numpy pandas keras tensorflow jupyter notebook will be for a basic environment development and the front end will be flask or django we can use 
we are uh, providing you 100% error free source code and 40 page report we will give to you and basic diagrams everything will be there in that report and we will support you until the last day of your vivo and uh, we are providing you the coding class okay hope you like this project for more clarity more information you can feel free to visit our office or you can able to call me at 9886-92401 or 9845-16723 okay thank you for listening video to handle your project easily visit our website www.dhsinformatics.com thank you